Hello and welcome to the What It Takes podcast. I am Amber Tellerico, the creator and director of What It Takes, a film about makeup artists. The What It Takes podcast will inspire and empower you to follow your wildest dreams and know what it takes to get there with motivational segments, fun discussions with my partner in crime, Kenneth Alexander, plus interviews with the top makeup artists around the world. If you haven't ordered a copy of the What It Takes DVD, make sure you get one. The film features over 20 award-winning makeup artists who share their stories and insights on being successful as makeup artists. You can purchase your copy of What It Takes at whatittakesfilm.com. All right, let's get started, shall we? And today, I'm going to be talking about staying motivated. So... As freelance makeup artists, uh, we all know how hard it can be (laughs) to stay motivated to get those jobs. I know um, sometimes, like seriously, there's like months where you just don't, you don't hear from anybody and you, you think maybe there's something wrong with you and then you start going into this kind of like super dark time of just like, oh man, like... I just don't even want to try to get those jobs because, you know, I feel like sometimes, you know, it's like the whole saying goes of, you know, when it rains, it pours. So you have all these jobs coming at you and you're just like, yeah, 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 I'm getting so many jobs and you've gotten, you know, you made good money from them and all of a sudden it just like stops. (laughs) But you're kind of like, okay, uh, this sucks. What am I going to do? And you go in this panic mode and then all of a sudden you're like, just like, okay, whatever. I'm not even going to try. Like, I'm going to let the jobs come to me. And you just lose that motivation to reach for those jobs. Now, I have the saying that you're the one with the brain. The job is not the one with the brain. So the, the jobs are not going to just, like, get up and walk to you. Now, sometimes it does feel, it does feel like these jobs come out of nowhere and that they just literally are, like, given to you and just fall on your lap. But most likely you did something in some capacity along the way to get that job indirectly. So stay, staying motivated. I want to, I want to talk about this because it's hard. It's really hard. And I want to share some of the things that I do to stay motivated. So, um, some of the things that I do is I, I like to listen to podcasts, which is exactly what you're listening to now to stay motivated. And, um, you know, it's it's just one of those or like a like an ebook of some sort. So there's a lot of different uh, podcasts. Um, I actually the podcasts that I listen to are more business related. So I can't. I don't want to. I would love to give um, you know that information out. It's actually she means business is the podcast, um, but it's very much more entrepreneurial based. Which I mean, don't get me wrong, makeup bars are 100% entrepreneurial, but they talk about things like how to get more uh, you know, how to grow your email list and stuff like this. So I don't know if that's necessarily uh something that you could take from. Maybe it could be. I don't know. Here's the thing though. If any of you guys out there listening are wanting to do anything with creating your own makeup line please do yourself a favor and pick up the book she means business it'll change your life it will it's for females so her name is carrie green that's the author so she she actually caters towards females female entrepreneurs so if you're a male listening to this and you're like oh shit i can't uh it's not for me unfortunately that's not the way to go um you let's see um who was i was just listening oh um amy porterfield amy porterfield p-o-r-t-e-r like porter in the field so amy porterfield is really great she's uh she has a podcast i want to say oh shoot what is it called hold on let me look at this Uh, i was just listening to it the other day uh online marketing made easy that is what her podcast is so anybody male or female can listen to that. It's a great podcast. But Carrie Green has just like the book that she wrote is just truly incredible. And it's it, to me, it was 100% life changing. Like I could totally if I talk too much about it, I'll get emotional. And you guys I don't get emotional. <laughs> I don't like to cry. So anyways, um, 
she has many, many, many ways and tactics to stay motivated. So some of the things that I've done to stay motivated is reading those types of books or, you know, listening uh, to the audio of those types of things. The other things that I like to do to stay motivated is to work out. And I know, like, it's it's kind of like, it's, it's hard because, you know, fitness, you have to kind of stay motivated in and of itself to even do fitness. So it's like, okay, you're trying to be fit, like, you're trying to be motivated by doing fitness, but you have to be motivated to do the fitness. But I can promise you, if you just, like, just, like, really push yourself, like, I don't know whether your purpose in fitness is to lose weight or if it's to gain weight or if it's just to be lean. Um, but if you just do some sort of fitness, whether it's just walking outside, taking a hike, or just doing some sort of movement, like looking at it as like, I got to lift some weights, like, you know, or do, I don't know, fitness videos. It kind of becomes a, a job, like a, a whole thing. Like, it's just like, Ugh, that sounds terrible. I don't want to do it. But when you start doing more, like if you get more active, I should just use that word better, be more active. Um, your blood flow will be a lot better. And it just kind of gets your creative juices going and, and directly, essentially, bringing you back that motivation that you need. So staying active, that's better. a better way to put it is staying active. Um, another thing is uh, watching YouTube videos. Now, I know, like, p- please take this with a grain of salt because I'm not saying go and learn, I don't know, I don't want to name any names because, like, this is a really touchy subject for the, uh, this particular industry. (laughs) I've heard, like, I've seen some nasty, nasty drama go on in this world, but you guys, here's the thing. There, no matter who is saying what about who, the YouTube world, there's so many different types of YouTube content. There's how-to videos, and those how-to videos sometimes are on themselves, and some, like, for instance, Lisa Eldridge is the perfect example. I get so, so, so incredibly inspired by Lisa Eldridge because she does uh, makeup on people, and she also does makeup on herself. It's truly brilliant what she does. I love it. It doesn't feel like she's being sponsored or anything like that. She's, like, stuffing all this information, like, go buy this and use my link and stuff like that. So it's very very organic. And so there's a lot of people like that. I get like, seriously, I get so inspired whenever I watch her, her, her channel. It's really awesome. I love it. It's just, she's so pleasant, you know, and I just like, I want to, I just want to meet her. So another way to stay motivated is to practice. Um, sometimes depending on what you're practicing, of course, you know, when you see yourself, Per, your progress. It can be very motivating. Um, for instance, if you just, you know, push yourself to say, for instance, you're not very good at doing a wings eyeliner. This is something that I actually struggled with for the first like five years of my career, maybe even more, to be honest. Um, and I started practicing it and I love doing them now and I'm more motivated to, to do those. Uh, so practicing is something you could do now. If you're practicing something, you know, that's more special effects heavy where it's like a prosthetic piece or something like that. Um, and it's a little harder because you have to put a little money into it and you also, um, it's harder to do several times in a row. Um, but nonetheless, practice. All right, so staying motivated. Uh, Another tip to stay motivated is meditating. This is the last tip that I'm going to give, but you guys, it's like the best tip that I could give because meditation is something that I was never really fond of. I don't know why. And I, I, I always thought that meditation was really wacky. I thought it was very woohoo-y and very like, oh, <laughs> okay, so this is like very new agey. Like, of course you meditate. Like, and, and I started doing meditation myself and I, I, it's, it's changed my life. And I, you guys, as of today, I've been meditating frequently. I try to do it once a day. And, um, for the past year and a half. And the this past year and a half has, like, been transformational with my finances. So, um, you know, call it coincidence. Call it what you want, you know, what you will. But I think that meditation psychologically, on a psychological level, just helps, you know, really calm. I have, I, I'm totally 
I'm always like everywhere. My mind is going a million miles a second and I have so many ideas and I want to do so many things that like I 100% have shiny object syndrome, like seriously, like really bad. And so I get excited very easily and I'll start something and then I'm like, oh wait, but I want to do this too. And, and it just becomes this whole thing. So, you know, um, I think that meditation has helped me calm that and helped me get focused and and it really has helped me visualize exactly what I want and get so much clarity with what I want out of my life. And so um, I think that with that, whether you want to call it, you know, the universe, I personally am a very spir- spiritual person, so I think that the universe has a very big part in it, but, you know, it also just kind of goes in the very basic way of, you know, taking the opportunities that have come my way that I have now, like basically the meditation, I've been focused on these goals. And so therefore I'm focused on the opportunities that maybe I was blinded to before. Like you could look at it in any way that you'd like. Um, But I like, me personally, I've always, I've always believed in the law of attraction. And I think that it's very real. Um, But that's just my personal opinion. And so, yeah, that's where I was going to end it off was basically just meditate. Um, get your your mind uh, very focused and it will it will really help you stay motivated and get your your get clarity around your goals and exactly what you have to do to get there. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast episode. I hope you really enjoyed it. And don't forget to get your copy of our film, What It Takes, at www.whatittakesfilm.com, where you can also join hundreds of other aspiring makeup artists on our makeup artistry platform, where artistry, inspiration, and wellness are all combined. We offer free workshops and training videos, and you won't want to miss it. So I'll see you over there.